For those of you out there who have a Steam Deck, just received one, or expect to have one in the near future, and are considering a skin for your Steam Deck, this is the video for you. Up front, here is the main catch you will need to know about. If you decide during your accessory research that you want to buy a special edition or premium dbrand skin, they are simply not the same as the main area to order skins for the Steam Deck on the dbrand webpage. We are going to get into that shortly, and after watching this video, you will be equipped with what I have learned and how the company dbrand responded when I contacted them. So, here is my question to you, the community. Do you already have a Steam Deck, or are you preparing for one in the near future? Let's chat in the comments down low. Continuing the story, let's talk about dbrand's website and what they do. dbrand does skins, some limited accessories, and screen protectors for the most part for a wide variety of popular tech. They even have skins for portable power banks, to include phones, the Steam Deck, tablets, laptops, and so on. There is also a sizable selection of custom colors, prints, textures, etc. When I was researching accessories for the Steam Deck, I came across this site from other Steam Deck tech tubers. What I really liked about the site when I first poked around was the sense of humor and overall tone of the site. The details on the products oozed with confidence in their design and seemingly every aspect of their business. My wife was not a fan of some of the site verbiage, but I found it charming. I'm not sponsored or affiliated with dbrand, this is just my personal experience as a first-time customer. Let's get into that. You can check out the site in the link in the description below at your leisure. I ended up ordering a 2-pack of screen protectors for my 512GB Steam Deck, and I also pre-ordered a special edition leather skin for said Steam Deck. Real leather that matched my wallet, belt, boots, and so on was right up my alley, especially since I got it for the same price as the standard skin material they typically utilize. When it comes to screen protectors, they are great, and I was interested in these in particular because they were guaranteed by the company dbrand to be a good fit for the glass screen my model has. So, you may want to verify this if you get the 512 model with the etched glass before you order a screen protector from another site or Amazon store. Back to the issue, the leather skin is a special edition skin that is not the same as the other Steam Deck skins they typically offer. This is for a couple of reasons, but the most important is that the top strip that covers the Steam Deck with the standard skins that dbrand sells is simply not included with the leather skin. No, this wasn't just a defective or incomplete order. This was not mentioned on the product page of the website, and when I reached out to customer support, I received the following response. So here we are. I felt it was my duty to make a video touching on this because I recommended this company to my audience in a recent video where I put the Steam Deck through unboxing, stress testing, emulation, accessories, and so on. If you have not seen the video, make sure you check it out if you want a deep dive into the Steam Deck with performance results, screen capture, and more. Once I was done with that video, I applied the skin to treat myself to the Steam Deck via the link to the installation video provided on the dbrand packaging. The installation process was a breeze for the screen protectors and most of the skin application process. I used a Wagner heat gun that I used for water cooling PC builds to apply it. A hairdryer works just fine as well. Things started to seem a bit strange when the installation video called for a review of the package contents and instructions deviated from my leather skin layout. So, the video for this particular premium skin isn't exact or universal for application. No worries though, the quality and ability to mold the skin to the curves of the Steam Deck was a joy to work with, but we will talk about that more in a second because we are going to talk about how this should not have happened, but politely of course. And just to clarify what should not have happened, is that the top piece that comes with the other standard skins was not present, and this was not an accidental oversight. It was intentional according to customer support. Before we hop into the point or final thoughts of the video to include suggestions for dbrand in the future, for those of you who want more information on the best accessories for the Steam Deck, I have pasted the links in the video description today of everything that I am currently using. If you want more in-depth discussion on the accessories, why I believe they were the best bang for the buck for my needs, and more, be sure to check out the other Steam Deck video. But here they are anyway, just in case you are looking to expand your Steam Deck setup. 
One accessory related to the skins and screen protector topic today, however, are the track pads that you can get from dbrand, Amazon sellers have some, etc. I'd recommend, even if you do not plan on applying a permanent skin to your Steam Deck, to consider not only the trackpad skin covers, but the Project Kill Switch case they are working on as well. This device is hefty, and at least covering the sensitive trackpads and putting it into a quality case will go a long way, so I wanted to mention that. Just something to keep in mind when it comes to accessories for those of you that came to this video looking for that. I was unable to get a reservation to go through with any of my cards for some reason when it comes to the Project Kill Switch reservation. You can reserve it supposedly for $3 USD, but the payment process seems to be slightly different than the checkout process I used when I originally purchased the screen protectors and the leather skin. Now let's move into the final thoughts on what I think of dbrand as a company, what I think of their products, customer support, and the skin I specifically received. I can still confidently say and recommend or stand by dbrand and the products they offer. I'm not affiliated with them in any way. Their customer service response when I asked about the missing piece wasn't perfect, as I don't think it would have been too strenuous to fulfill my request to purchase this piece separately, the top piece. Along with some trackpad covers to make it more enticing, I did offer to do that. I don't imagine it is difficult to spit out a vinyl piece on its own, so take that information for what you will. It has to be said that they did offer a compromise, but I still would have had to buy an entire skin kit to get the piece that I needed with a wasted spare skin I can't return my investment on. To fix this confusion in the future, I'd recommend dbrand take a logical step and take a moment to make the differences between this premium leather skin, the standard skins, and any other special edition skins that have differences between the installation videos or the pieces included in the kits to be more clear to their customers on their product description page. Also, as mentioned earlier, heating any of the skins, standard or special edition, causes them to be able to be moldable and pliable. Essentially, I'm not sure I agree with the reasoning that the customer support agent gave me as to why the top piece was not included in my leather kit in the first place. This was just a customer support agent after all, I'm not bashing them, but this is just also my opinion as a customer and a consumer. Still, with all those things considered, I can still recommend dbrand if they have a product or solution that you are looking for, but felt the need to make this video because I had recommended dbrand in my large Steam Deck video previously. This is really just an FYI. My experience was positive, and I'm satisfied with the product. These have been the differences and my experiences when communicating with the dbrand company. I didn't expect to receive a premium skin with incomplete coverage, similar to only partially covering a car for storage. What is the point if you only cover most of the car? Maybe I can find a sticker guy or someone with a decal printer to finish this project. I don't think I'll be ordering another complete skin kit from dbrand just for one piece, although the solution they offered was a nice touch. If you appreciated today's chat, my commitment to accountability and transparency, and you think I earned it? You know what to do. Stay fresh, play how you want, how you can, build something awesome, and stay you.